African cities like Nairobi, Cape Town and Lagos could be ahead of the game when it comes to digital innovations, but Kigali is catching up. Recently, a Lagos-based tech hub opened a design and innovation center in the Rwandan capital Kigali. CGTN's Lonela Lupuwama caught up with the company's project manager, Tome Jayola. Here are excerpts from the interview. So we are the research and development unit of Co-Creation Nigeria. Um, Co-Creation Nigeria, the hub there is a technology innovation center. We deal with incubation of technology startups. We are a part of, an arm of that, but we're mostly focused on research and development here. And so what that means is there's a multidisciplinary team of researchers, scientists, developers, engineers here. Um, our real main goal is incorporating human-centered design in how we solve problems. And uh, you've been running in Nigeria for about eight years now. Mm -hmm. You've moved to, the, to Kigali in, the, in February. Yes. Why Kigali? Um, Kigali has really spent significant um, investment in making this place a very enabling environment for um, local and foreign technologists to, uh, as well. And so for us, we're looking for a place to continue um, where we can deepen collaborations with stakeholders across sectors, but also, also, and very importantly, a place that will inspire creativity for the work that we do. And you're working across different sectors. Uh, we're talking economy, we're talking health, we're talking education. Um, we've got a lot of recurring problems within the continent. Mm. Uh, for instance, the Ebola keeps coming back. Mm. What are you doing to help? A big part of our theme area, thematic area here is public health and specifically digital epidemiology. And that is how do we use data and technology to help with monitoring surveillance of diseases and infectious diseases in Africa, which is a problem. And so one of the ways we're doing that is we're developing a network um, of researchers, scientists, engineers, data scientists as well, coming together. And it's an African network, it's a Pan-African network. So it's how do we explore uh, technology and data and improving um, how we monitor and surveil monitoring and surveillance of these diseases into also helping prevention of epidemics around the, the continent. And other projects that we're working on in health um, with the, for instance, Nigerian Institute of Medical Research, um, we are using, we're developing a digital tool um, in improving adherence to treatment. So a lot of times, even like in tobacco, um, because of a lot of stigma, people don't finish their treatments and we have the same relapse and the problem again. So part of our project, we're doing a medical trial right now um, for about six months and our developers are working on the back end with the tool to keep improving it. And the goal again is to continue to spread those interventions to other parts of the continent as well. I understand this wing of the co-creation hub is fairly new, but let's look at your plans for Africa's education sector. What lies ahead? For us in education, our goal is how do we make STEM education attractive? Africa needs a lot of scientists and engineers, and people are slowly pulling away from that in, in schools. And so one of the ways we've done is through digital labs, where what we do is we gamif it's a gamified environment, so students are playing games, but they're learning content in science, bio biology, and chemistry. And the goal is, again, like I said, to improve um, interest in STEM education. Uh, another way we're doing it is uh, for the teachers specifically, the teacher training is moving from more instructional type of teaching to inquiry-based learning using those labs where students are active participants of their own learning as well. 